Hi, today I'm going to show you how to measure temperature using the I2C sensor LM75A connected to Raspberry Pi. The video will feature three open source code samples which I created using Python, C and Bash. They are available for free in GitHub. For this demonstration I need a Raspberry Pi, LM75A, a breadboard, several female to male and male to male jumper wires. Last but not least I also need tools for soldering. The sensor is compatible with any model and version of Raspberry Pi. Right now I'm using Raspberry Pi 3 with the Raspbian GNU Linux distribution. I got my LM75A module from IC Station. It is fairly cheap temperature to digital converter with NXP chip. It has a wide range for temperature detection. You can have a look at the details in its datasheet at nxp.com. The main advantage is that the I2C address of the sensor is configurable through pins A0, A1 and A2. This way you can use simultaneously up to 8 LM75A sensors attached to a single Raspberry Pi or another development board. Now, let's get started. The first step requires soldering of the 5 pin header to LM75A module. These pins will be used to mount the sensor to a breadboard. The second step is more tricky. On the back side of the module you will see pads for A0, A1 and A2. As I said before, these pads are used to set the I2C slave address of the sensor. It is important that they should not be left floating. You have to connect them to ground or VCC. I want to keep the I2C slave address as configurable as possible, so I'll do a workaround. I'll solder low value resistors to each pad. Ideally, 0 ohm would be perfect. I have a 100 ohm resistor and this is also fine. After soldering the resistors, I can easily change the I2C slave address by connecting the resistors to ground or VCC on my breadboard. In general, the wiring on the breadboard is straightforward for LM75A and any I2C sensor. Just connect it to pins 1, 3, 5 and 9. Have a look at the Raspberry Pi pinout for details. In this case, the tricky part is the workaround with resistors that I did. Initially, I'll connect A0, A1 and A2 to ground. This way, the I2C address assigned to LM75A will be 48. Here is the list of the 8 different configurations that are available for the address. Now, it is time to focus on the software. I'm booting Raspbian GNU Linux distribution on my Raspberry Pi 3. I have not attached a monitor, so I'll log in through SSH. Install the list of required packages from the description of the video using apt get. After that type raspbconfig to enable I2C. A restart of the board is mandatory to complete this step. After that log in again via SSH and ensure that LM75A is detected. The open source examples for reading temperature are available in my GitHub repository, therefore I need to clone it. The first example is written in the C programming language. It depends on the popular library WiringPy. There is a make file so you just need to run make. The binary will be compiled very fast. After that I can run the binary and retrieve the temperature. I'm heating the sensor with a hair dryer. In the same time, I'm running the temperature detection app in the terminal so you can notice how the temperature is increasing. I spent a lot of time to explain you the workaround for easy adjustable I2C address. Let me show it to you in action. I'm going to move the resistor connected to A2 from ground to VCC. 
This way the address of the sensor will be changed to 4C. Now to measure the temperature again I will use the application that I compiled a minute ago. The only difference is that I'm going to pass the new address as a common line argument. For the Python example, a couple of additional dependencies are required. I have already installed them. Run the Python script to get the temperature. Again, you can specify the address as a common line argument. The last example is written in Bash. The usage is exactly the same. Thank you for your attention. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a look at my other geek videos. Do not forget to give a star in GitHub to the project if you enjoyed the source code samples.